Hi, I'm Chris Morrell. I'm the Senior Manufacturing Engineer here at Guardian Bikes. I'm Melissa. I've been with Guardian Bikes from the beginning. My first day here, we actually pulled up in a Penske truck, rolled up the back door, and started unloading some equipment. I was shocked. I did What I walked into, I was not expecting. I was expecting like a full-blown bike line, and we're ready to go. So we walked into the, the office, and it was like 70s themed, like pink and green flooring. 1970. <laughs> Very 1970. My first project at Guardian One or G1 was to actually help clean up the, the office and the facility. Well, we did the construction work of the offices. We were cleaning out the cobwebs. We were actually cutting furniture because it was this big bulky desk and chairs and stuff that wouldn't fit through the door. We actually put the flooring down. Sanded it, painted it, repainted. <laughs> and put the, the molding up and painted the walls. Over the next few months, we pretty much were getting the shipping fulfillment side up, and then simultaneously we were building balance bikes on bike stands out on the floor. We began with balance bikes. That was an experience. It was actually getting kind of hot. We had a team of three people, and so we decided to bring it actually into the office. Everybody was fighting over a fan, and they were like, hey, Let's just move it in there to the air. <laughs> this is actually the room that we had the, the table with the fixturing. And so we had, there were basically four stations to assemble the, the balance bike. Just put all the components on for our quality. From building in the offices on bike stands and in fixtures, we got a, a bicycle assembly line that you put the bike upside down and you build the bike upside down. So we quickly moved to that line and started ramping up production. Yeah, I remember at one point we were building 50 bikes a day and then 200 a day and then 500 a day. Full blown bike lines. Like in the beginning, if you were here, you would never guess it was gonna happen. At that point, we were struggling to keep up with the, the line. We had five, five to six people filling hubs manually, putting spokes in hubs. And then that's when we realized that we needed to get a hub filling machine. For me, every day was an experience because I'm a, I was an automotive girl. I never dealt with a bike in my life. So every day was an experience for me. Brian was actually here off and on teaching us, showing us like all the different like techniques he had learned through the years of uh, how to build a bike, make sure that the customer is going to be happy with the, the quality of it. So I just keep that in my mind every time that we're doing a bike. It's for a kid's safety. 